Welcome. The following technical support video will walk you through the process of installing the PowerRip GP Direct to Garment RIP software program designed specifically to work with the Brother GT line of Direct to Garment printers. Before you begin, you want to make sure that you have the software downloaded to your desktop. The icon will look like this. Once you have it downloaded, you also want to make sure that you have already installed the Brother GT driver for your printer. That has to be installed before you can go forward and install any of the other PowerRip GP program. This will allow the PowerRip GP to directly communicate with the Brother GT driver. Once you have that installed, go ahead and double click on the PowerRip GP icon on your desktop. You get a warning window that will open up and you'll want to go ahead and just click run. It's going to give you another window that will open up and then make sure that you currently don't have another version of the PowerRip GP installed. If you do, please close this application, go back and follow the video or the technical support information on how to remove the software first. This will be done when you want to upgrade the software to the latest version. Once you've done that, just go ahead and click the OK button to proceed. You'll get the self extractor window that'll open up, and you'll want to click on the unzip button. What this is going to do is it's going to drop a folder on your C drive called PowerRipGP underscore dot CD. Uh, tell you that you've successfully unzipped these files. Go ahead and click OK, and then it'll launch our installer program. Once this comes up, go ahead and click on the install, remove, and repair link. And now you'll go through the actual installation process. Click on the next button. You come to our license agreement. You will need to read the license agreement and then agree to it before going forward. The next part will come up and I'll ask you to input the information about your company. So you can go ahead and put in your name, your company name. And if you already have a 16-digit product code, you can enter it in your serial number field. If you do not have a 16-digit product code, go ahead and leave the word evaluation in there. This will allow you to try the software, but it will print a watermark diagonal across the design. Go ahead and click on the Next button. You then have your choices of which printers that you would like to install. Make sure you go ahead and choose which one that matches the product code that you're going to purchase or that you've already purchased. In this case I'm going to install the Brother 782 printer. When purchasing the 782 it will also give us the ability to install the Brother 541 printer as well. However purchasing or installing the Brother 541 using a Brother 541 product code will not allow you the ability to validate the software if you have the 782 drivers installed as well. So the RIP will allow you to go down in size, but not up. Go ahead and click on the Next button once you've selected your printers. It will come to a window and ask you to select what print drivers you want to have installed. If you scroll through this list, you'll notice that the Brother GT782 has already been checkmarked. You want to leave all of these other documents and folders already checkmarked there. At this point in time, if you want, you can go ahead and choose to install other software for the different printers, for example, like the GT541 or also the Polar Bear. Click the Next button to proceed. From this point, I'll ask you where you want to go ahead and select your program folder. To make it easy for tech support and everything, go ahead and just click the Next button and it will begin the install process. Now the print manager window will open up and it will ask you what print queues you want to go ahead and create. The print queues that will be already selected will be the ones that you selected in the print drivers window. Just go ahead and click the continue button and now you'll have a series of windows pop up letting you know that they've installed the different print queues. 
after that it's now going to ask you to select what ports your brother GT drivers are communicated with. If they are already installed, it'll already come pre-selected. If you only have the file output installed, it'll just select the GTF port. If you don't have any of them installed, typically it will default to an LPT port. Go ahead and just click the continue button for all of the different windows. Now you're com it's going to have you restart your computer before you go ahead and access the software. If you have any additional questions, please contact your distributor. Thank you.